So this is kind of like the stutter effect. So I have this sample chop here. I just chopped it up to this first little hit of the sample. All right, and then I had that repeat four times here. And then I took that little blip and halved it even more. And then I had that repeat four times and then took that part and halved that and had it repeat even more. So it really gives it the stutter effect. If we listen to it. Now in context of the full beat. So this is the filter effect intro. All right, so here's this little sample that I got. All right, now on the sample, I'm just gonna throw in a Fruity Love filter, go to the drop down arrow, go to presets, and I really like the PC Low Pass Plus Phaser preset. And I can mess with this graph here, the cutoff and the resonant knobs to really get a dope intro effect. Something like that. And then I'm going to automate it. Just bring the mix knob down, right click, create automation clip, and put some points in just to tell FL Studio to have it only happen at this time. And now the beat sounds like this. Here's how this intro sample sounds with nothing on it. So I kind of want to do the slow triplet effect. So on the sample, I'm going to throw in a gross beat. I'm going to go through the presets until we get to the momentary section. And in the momentary, I'm going to click the slow triplet. All right, now I'm going to go back into the playlist and highlight this area. Go back into the mixer and go to the gross beat mix knob. Bring that down. Right click. Create automation clip. And put in some automation here. I'm going to just do an incline out into a drop. Something like this. All right, now let's hear how this sounds. So here's how this intro sample sounds with no effects on it. All right, so what we're gonna do is click on the sample and put in gross beat. Now, there are so many different effects in gross beat that we can use, but if we go to the momentary presets and click on the half speed preset, we can get some interesting characteristics in this intro. Something like that. So what I'm actually gonna do is highlight these first two bars, go back into the gross beat, bring the mix knob down, right click, create automation clip. And I'm going to just put in the effect at the beginning like this and have it kind of trail out into the drop. Let's hear how that sounds. This is what this intro sounds like with no effects. So I want to do a pitch shift effect. There's a bunch of different ways to do this, but I'm going to just do the gross beat effect. If you want to know other ways, let me know down in the comments. So just pull up a gross beat, go through the presets until you get to the pitch shifter patterns. I'm going to choose this negative 12 octave, but choose what you want. It starts to sound like this. So we're going to automate that. I'm going to put an empty pattern to the length of the intro, just like so. Go back into the gross beat and I'm gonna manually bring the mix knob up and down. So I'm gonna click on the recording button at the top left, do notes and automation, and bring this up and down. It's gonna record it into that empty pattern. This is what this intro sounds like with no effects. So I want to do another pitch shift effect. I'm just going to put an empty pattern to the length of the sample like so. Right click the sample and make it unique so it only affects this part and not the rest. 
When I double click the sample, I can go into the mode, go into Stretch Pro, and this brings up a format slider that will let us get different variations in the pitch. If I right click it, I could do Create Automation Clip and put points in, or we could click on the recording button up here, do Notes and Automation, and automate it manually. This is the simple drum fill intro, okay? So we have our sample and our drums right here. What we're gonna do is just drag the drums over so it's the ending bit of the drums, the half bar of the drums, if you will, like so. So it'll sound like this. Real simple intro, you could even fade it in by highlighting it, going to the master, right click, create automation clip, and fade it in like so, bringing the master down like this, and it'll kind of fade in an audio. But this really can set the tone for your beats, just doing a simple drum fill intro. Try introing your beats by sampling a different part of the song you already sampled for the beat. What I mean is, there's this song here that I already took a sample from, but at the end there's this dope string section. I thought that would be really cool to intro this beat, so I sampled it out of there, chopped it, and pitched it down a little bit. This is what it sounds like before it drops into the beat. Definitely think it sets the beat right, gives it a nice vibe. So don't be afraid by taking another sample of the song and introing your beats with that. Follow my page for more, y'all. Peace. Try using a texture or some kind of simple drum loop to intro your beats. I have this weird drum texture from Arthur Du Bois' newest sample pack. Super weird, but I think it adds a lot of tension and helps me kind of build up to where the rest of the beat comes in. So if we listen to it. really dope it gives it a nice vibe and you can even use something like that for breaks later on i literally built this beat just off of this loop so if we hear it with just the drums pretty dope so yeah don't be sleeping on something like that check my page out for more y'all peace Try sampling a quote from a movie, a cartoon, or even a YouTube video, something that you think is dope. Try sampling that and put it as the intro of your beat. For example, I have this old time radio broadcast that I chopped up and pitched. Here it is with the intro. Thank you for tuning in this evening. Lovely night is far. We have a great night filled with the newest hits. Let's jump right in. To start us off, we have. See, just something like that can add some serious sauce, especially in the boom bap genre. But vocal quotes and stuff like that are used constantly in other forms of hip hop, so definitely experiment and get creative with it. If this video brought you value, make sure you follow me for more. Much love, y'all. Peace.